Welcome to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Market Reporter at NASDAQ. Joining us for this segment, we have JVJ, and he's the founder of Techion, the company that powers the automotive retail ecosystem. Jay, it's great to have you with us. Welcome to Trade Talks. Great to be here, Jill. Thank you for having me here. All right, you got it. And certainly such a key space for investors these days. How and why did you enter the auto business? Yeah. So as you know, today's world, um, as, as consumers in our life day to day, in our purchasing experience, like, you know, buying, a, um, say, an iPhone through Apple or uh, any e-commerce retail buying experience through Amazon, a any retail experience, um, you have a pretty simple, seamless experience to most part. But when it comes to automotive, um, with the very few exceptions, uh, it's not an easy vehicle purchase experience. As you probably know, we all as consumers, day to day, we are um, automotive users in you know different ways, right? We buy vehicles or we lease vehicles, we rent or we ride share, but we are all consumers of automotive. But when you go through automotive leasing or buying experience, or for that matter, service experience or consumer engagement, the experience is not simple or seamless. It's too far out than anything we call as simple and seamless. And I felt there is an opportunity to really deliver a cloud platform um, that brings the OEM brands, the retailers and consumers together on one single platform so that the consumers can get that seamless experience and it's not a superficial platform to just connect people. It's an also because you need to solve the backend and the operational aspect of it. Only then you can provide the best experience. So that's what Techion platform is about. Delivering that cloud native platform that solves the operational complexities and pushes the simplicity for the consumer experience. So let's get a little bit more detail behind this. What problems are you solving with Techion? More specifically, what solutions are you providing? Yeah, so we, we provide, uh, you know, um, in our platform, we provide two clouds, but it's all connected part of the same platform. So the automotive retail cloud is delivering a cloud SaaS platform, if you would call it as for simplicity, to run the retail network. So for dealers, they can run their entire retail operations on the cloud, seamlessly connecting to their OEM brands. So basically entire operations of vehicle selling, vehicle servicing and maintaining, the consumer engagement, if you would call it a CRM, all comes together in one single cloud platform and that's automotive retail cloud. We have automotive enterprise cloud, which is providing digital presence for OEM brands. And for if you, uh, General Motors is one of our large partners and we have other OEM partners as well. If you go to General Motors, uh, Chevrolet.com slash electric, that's powered by Techion platform. So giving a complete digital presence for the OEM brands with a seamless connection to their retail network is what Techion platform is about. So automotive retail cloud and automotive enterprise cloud, we seamlessly bring the automotive ecosystem, the brands, the retailers and consumers together. How has COVID impacted your business and the industry overall? Yeah, as uh, we all know in automotive industry, it has, uh, the supply chain is the biggest impact, uh, right? The chip shortages, you all we all see that and the vehicle inventory shortages. But that has also you know, increased the demand because the number of uh, the supply is less, so, so the demand is high, so the margins. And overall, I would say um, from an automotive perspective, there is a supply shortage, there is a higher demand, there are higher margins that is generating good amount of business, but that needs to be solved in this year, 2022 and beyond. Now coming to Techion, because we provide a cloud platform, we really move our, not only our partners and customers and consumers towards more and more digital. We all have seen that consumers have moved more and more the percentage of online e-commerce transactions and buying has significantly increased, right? I think uh, from a data perspective, uh, gone from 9% to 16% to 9, 19% from I'm talking about, you know, 20, 2019 to 2020 to 2021. So there is a significant presence there from a consumer perspective. So it has accelerated our business. So Techion's business has been significantly accelerated because of COVID because we are a cloud native platform. We provide that digital presence. We enable dealers and OEMs to 
give that digital capability to their consumers. So from our perspective, we have almost tripled in size in every way in our you know, business growth, in our revenue growth, as well as in our uh, employees, number of people we have hired. Right, and Jay, you're no stranger to the technology and automotive spaces having spent time at Tesla. Can you share with us um, some of the key learnings from your time at Tesla? Yeah, I think the biggest learning is, you know, you focus on consumers. Um, see, end of the day, over, over uh, I think, decades, I think that kind of was fragmented uh, in the, if you take a traditional automotive industry, the ecosystem over decades have grown so many complexities. End of the day, the consumer experience was lost. I don't know, I don't think it was a conscious decision that anyone did, but end of the day, that was the result. So Tesla biggest learning was, the focus was on consumers, the product excellence and consumer delivery excellence, how you make the process for consumers simple, a simple product, one, from a usability perspective, and the experience of buying a vehicle and after sales service experience, making that seamless is the biggest learning for me. And I felt, why can't that happen to the whole industry? Because consumers, as you know, is massive as Tesla still serves a good amount of percentage of consumers and growing rapidly, but still there is a massive amount of world left out to serve, which doesn't get the same level of experience. So that is one of the very important um, factor that Techion is delivering through our platform so that we can enable the OEM brands, enable the dealer network, and then finally provide what consumers today are looking for, a simple, seamless experience, convenience and transparency. Yeah, well, that is encouraging to hear. I think a lot of consumers shy away from the automobile experience because to your point, it is really complex. And I think with um, technology being able to provide these experiences at scale really is uh, exciting for the consumer going forward. Absolutely. So Jay, absolutely. to wrap up here, how do you think the car industry is going to evolve with the proliferation of electric vehicles and the experience that they bring to the consumer? Yeah, um, you know, great question and also elephant in the room, right? It's a big question. So EVs are, you know, um, a big thing in the future. So every every OEM brands and many of our partners, uh, you know, are investing big in delivering their EVs and EV product lineup itself. I feel it's a great opportunity for transformation also because EVs are new product lineups and we do see many of our partners because of the past legacy, it's not easy for them to unpeel from the complexities. While there's a lot of work and initiatives going on, but there is an opportunity with a new product and new lineup with EVs, I do see um, significant amount of new initiatives. How do you simplify? How do you start a completely new uh, experience? Anything you talk uh, like a site experience or a buy flow, or an after sales experience. So they're redefining their process. So what I think is uh, one, the simplification, and it's a great thing for consumers. Um, their experience of buying an EV is going to be much more simpler and easier. And then the second is, uh, as I said, uh, there is an opportunity to redefine the older process to better ways of doing things. And there is a lot of good amount of investment. So the retail process itself will evolve. So the how dealers sell, how the retailers would sell products and engage with their customers are evolving, I would say, in the right direction in the future. You know, Jay, let me throw one more question at you. Um, we know the potential that electric vehicles have. Um, and speaking of investments, we also need to mm -hmm. make sure that we have the infrastructure to support EV as well. That, yeah. that also part of the challenge. What, what's your view on that with having the infrastructure in the US to, to support um, EV more at scale? Yeah, it is, it is very important. I think with the given time, with this focus and investment that's coming into for making EVs real and expanding that, and I think that is very healthy because with that, I still feel there will be a lot enough time, I should say, um, there will be enough time for the infrastructure. And it's very important for EVs to become mainstream, right? As you know, well, 
today consumers are so used to with ice cars and they know exactly what to do. I think that has to happen in the EV as well. Basically, it has to be part of the flow itself, how quickly they can charge, how accessible the charging networks are, right? Home charging um, to, uh, you know, expedite or do the charging faster and of course so the range improvements are also happening so constantly you see um, manufacturers coming up with bigger and better range so i believe the, the the infrastructure is very important with all the investments that are going in it's very encouraging and i feel that will become real only thing i've the the cost factor of evs has to come down which is a i think it's a very important one for evs to become mainstream because as we see, it's not the affordability is not the same in every part of the country. But majority of the country, if people need to uh, adopt EVs, the cost has to come down. Again, it's all interrelated. So the more you invest into selling more EVs, as the volume increases, the manufacturers are already working and has to work to bring the cost down so that more consumers can adopt. So bottom line, to answer your question, uh, you know, Jill, EVs are, the, are a big deal. Infrastructure is very important for everyone, including manufacturers, as well as partners and the ecosystem to invest so that it's easy to access for consumers. And with that, the EV adoption will continue to increase as the new EV product lines are being launched by manufacturers. All right, Jay, we appreciate the insight. Thanks for joining us on Trade Talks. I'm Jill. Welcome. Thank you for having me here. You'll enjoy the discussion. Thanks. You got it. Thank you.